Muhammad Yunus was an American trained but Bangladesh born economist. Now, just like you love your community, I love my community, Yunus loves Bangladesh. But since it was founded in, 19,、um, in the 1970s, it has historically been one of the poorest countries on the planet. Yet he loves it. And he was back visiting and in a rural village encountered a group of women who he asked effectively about their lives and learned that they were, in effect, in bondage, indentured to local moneylenders. Now, he asked them kind of inquisitively, what would it take for you to be free of these moneylenders? And they went and huddled and came back and said, $27. Now, he had $27 in his pocket. And this is Robert's romantic understanding of the story. But as he, he reached in, he stopped and said, almost anybody else would pull that $27 out and give it, go home thinking and possibly telling stories over slides. For the years to come, about how they had liberated a village with $27. But he's an economist, and he understood that that $27 would only buy them a momentary respite, that he hadn't changed the ecosystem in which they lived, and that ultimately they would fall back into the hands of the moneylenders. So he looked and he said, My sisters, you know, I look at you and I see no reason why the entrepreneurial spirit. That has oftentimes been associated with masculinity, does not beat just as strong and just as fervently in your heart. So, what I'll do is loan you the money. You pay the moneylenders back, you pay me back, you're free. And that was the birth of microcredit. Now, in 1983, Yunus took his idea and put it into the form of a nonprofit called the Grameen Bank. Now, coincidentally, in 1986, two years after the first TED, Microsoft. Went public. Now, if you had been intelligent, smart, sophisticated, or just dumb lucky enough to invest e d a mere $1,000 in Microsoft when it went public today, you have a half a million dollars in the bank. One investment, one stamp, one time. But similarly, if you invested $1,000 in the Grameen Bank, which has elevated over 100 million people, primarily women, out of poverty. With small loans, all you were eligible for was a one time tax deduction. Now, my idea is very simple. Why not an annual tax deduction with increasing value based on the same rate of return principle as a dividend check if investing in your community me- yields measurable outcomes? How many men and women did not go to prison, costing us 40 grand per, but now are working and paying taxes? How many women came out of the domestic violence shelter and through a Michael l o a n were able to start a new business on Main Street, Burlington, and actually be,、um, take care of their own children and end that cycle? This is just a policy. But the breakthrough idea, the idea that by investing in your community, that you could actually attain wealth, is radical. Because what it involves is the beginning of the blurring of the line between .com and .org, saying, in effect, and particularly for you, for you all under 30, That is an abstract, boring concept that was developed by the IRS. It has nothing to do with the real world. The future is not either or, it's both together. I'll see you there. Thank you very much.